Hey everybody, what's going on? This is your boy, Super Producer Ridiculous, Knowledge Given Birth Productions, coming at you live in my first uh, interview of a series of things that I'm going to try and do to give you guys some insight on the new project, Masters of Conversation, Punchlines and Parables, um, some things that we're doing as, as a company with Knowledge Given Birth Productions and what you can expect from us in the future. Um, first things first, I want to answer a couple of quick questions. I get a couple of questions asked of me, the same question a lot, so I want to take a few moments and just, you know, give people a little understanding on the project. Um, a lot of people ask me how the album came about, like why did I make this project? Um, the project itself was really just made to, as in a way for me to express the type of music that I want to make. Um, I wasn't really too happy with where hip hop's been going in the past decade or so. Um, and I really felt like we, it's time to make a change. You know, there's enough people out there that want something different that if I brought something different that, there, you know, people would be supportive of it, which they definitely have. And I definitely appreciate that. Um, I just wanted to make an album that I, I wanted to listen to as opposed to hearing a song or two off of an album and then skipping the rest of it. Um, I really think that, you know, we covered a diverse range of topics. Um, just look at the singles so far. You got Prome, you know, spitting just straight bars on, on Halo. Um, we've got Shot Stimuli, Sadat X, and Emilio Rojas on a beast of a track with Picture Perfect, probably my favorite track off the album so far. Um, shouts out to my man Jay Hatch, iStandardProducers.com, and that whole movement. Jay's been working with me for years, and he hooked me up with Shot Stimuli and Emilio to really make that track pop. Um, the other thing that really the project meant to me was just kind of a culmination of the last 15 years of, of my doing this. A lot of people don't realize it, but I've been around for a while. You might not have heard of me, but I've been here. So this was just kind of, you know, my big foot in the game so far, you know, so to say. Um, the other thing that really people ask about is, is what it was like to work with so many different artists. Um, not only was it a blessing, just because I'm, I'm a fan of a vast majority, if not everybody, that's on the project. Um, but it was really good to be creative because it gave me a lot of different ways to approach tracks. I wasn't really stuck with just one MC, you know, looking at things from one view. I could get three, four, five MCs on one beat and really give a variety of of views for a particular topic like you hear on survival tactics with you know gauge and phantom and seven to panther and my boy fess out of philly um we've got control the masses with stomach and you know solomon diagostine and rich malone i mean we got talking shit hour with sean don and audible doctor from brown bag all stars and my people's notoriety out in boston just we were able to cover a, a give a lot of different views for for people so the album really never gets that boring um, coming up next uh, is usually the next thing people ask, and the next single is going to be Poison Ink with my homie Big Duddy D. Shouts out to D's, Trickster, Park Street, the whole fam over in the UK, and all the support that everybody over there has been giving me for sure. Um, D's and I have a project coming out called English Gentleman that you're going to hear uh, some noise starting to bubble about. Uh, you'll get a taste of that with Poison Ink. It's just D's spit spitting pure fire over one of my favorite beats. And uh, from there, we just kind of built on a solid relationship of respect for good music. And uh, it turned into a project that I'm really, really proud of. I think Punchlines and Parables was definitely the best thing I'd done to, to, to that point. But I definitely think that this project with D's is going to outshine it just in, in, in pure, just rawness. The, the beats are ill. Um, I'm working with new stuff. I'm working with Machine and a few other things. So a lot more depth has been added to my music. D's, of course, is an amazing lyricist. So... We've got his lyrics just kicking it off, and we're just, it's the project, I, I can't say enough about it. We just finished the recording, so we're getting into post-production and mixing, and the more I listen to it, the more I love the project. So I'll look for a single coming out soon. Um, the project's gonna drop sometime February-ish, I think, 2012, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, but this Masters of Conversation, Punchline and Parables project definitely has been my best work so far. Um, 18 pure bangers. There's not a filler track in there. Even the two half songs, the interlude that I cut up, my man Dice, my man Harvey out of Rochester, each and every one of those tracks, man, you can just bang them from front to beginning. There's really nothing that isn't worth a listen to.
And one last thing before I go, I want to give mad love to all the blogs that have been giving me a lot of support. Uh, we've been top five in the album of the year, top ten in the album of the year, been called by multiple blogs, lots of people giving us really good reviews, and we definitely want people to keep spreading the love. So every time you see somebody, you're talking about some music, let them know, man. It's, it's a new sound back out, you know what I mean? That boom bap shit is back with a little twist, you know, making it a little ridiculous. Until next time, man, I'll be back at you guys. Peace.